Graco ExactaBlend AGP 8100 Pump Usage Tutorial Produced by Tremco Commercial Sealants and Waterproofing This video will walk you through proper setup and maintenance of the Graco ExactaBlend AGP 8100 Pump for use with Tremco's two-part silicone sealant ProGlaze 2. Before using this pump, please read through the owner's manual created by the manufacturer Graco Inc. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions and heed all of the warning labels on the pump. Step 1. Attach the air supply hose to the pump and plug in the machine. Step 2. Turn the power switch on. Step 3. Make sure all four air supply valves are in the on position. Step 4. To initialize the system, press the power button on the display panel. Your machine comes pre-programmed and locked to show the correct base to catalyst ratio by weight for ProGlaze 2, 15 to 1. Step 5. Attach a new static mixer to the gun. Note that this should be done on a daily basis. Unscrew the metal static mixer sleeve and remove the old static mixer. Insert a new static mixer into the metal sleeve and reattach the sleeve to the gun. Step 6. Pull the trigger on the gun allowing the dispensed material to flow into a waste receptacle until the mix appears to be homogeneous in color. There should not be any streaks in the material. Continue dispensing material into the receptacle until the light tower's green light turns on. The gun icon on the display screen will change position to confirm the material is ready to be used. Step 7. If needed, adjust the material flow rate by turning the flow rate control knob until the gauge shows the desired air pressure. Step 8. Check pressure gauges. During operation, the Part A and Part B gauges must be running within 500 PSI of each other. Quality control tests should be performed to confirm a proper mix ratio and pump accuracy. Test 1. Butterfly test. Perform a butterfly test to verify a thorough mix has been achieved. To verify a proper mix of base and curing agent, this test will be performed at the start of each day and any time the machine is idle for an extended period of time. If the butterfly test shows no evidence of streaking and the sealant is uniform in color, a thorough mix has been achieved and you may proceed with the snap test. Do not proceed with further testing and sample preparation if there is evidence of streaking or if an inconsistent color exists. This indicates a thorough mix has not been achieved. Instead, dispense additional sealant and repeat the test. If there is still evidence of streaking or if an inconsistent color exists, some adjustments, repairs, should be performed on the static mixer area of the dispensing equipment. Such efforts should continue until a thorough mix is achieved. The butterfly test cannot be used by itself to confirm that the material is properly mixed, but should be used in conjunction with the other tests described in this video and in the Tremco Structural Glazing Procedures Guide. Test 2. Snap Time Test Once the butterfly test confirms a uniform color, Perform a snap time test to determine the cure rate of the mixed sealant. Snap time is achieved when the sealant breaks after lifting the stick 1 half to 1 inch or 13 to 25 millimeters above the surface of the sealant in the container. The snapped sealant will act like a broken rubber band. In other words, both ends will snap in opposite directions. Care should be taken to avoid further mixing or shearing of the sealant during the snap time testing. This will affect the snap time result. If any major discrepancy in the snap time value is noted, contact your Tremco representative immediately. Test 3. Snake Test. Perform a snake test. 
allow the sealant to cure for 24 hours. Check shore A at each of the meter change locations and pump directional changes and record in the logbook. Variations can occur, so record softer shore A readings at each of these changeover locations. Uniform shore A is less than five points from norm at soft spot locations. The goal is uniform shore A after 72 hours. Step-by-step -step instructions for performing butterfly, snap time, and snake tests can be found in the Tremco Structural Glazing Procedures Manual on our website at www.tremcosealants.com. All test results, desired or undesired, must be recorded and dated in the Quality Assurance Logbook. A copy of this logbook can also be found in the Structural Glazing Procedures Manual and on the Forms page in the Commercial Glazing section of our website. Ensure the material is base purged when the pump is not in use, such as break times, lunch time, or any time the Exacta Blend AGP 8100 is sitting idle for more than five minutes. To purge the base, Go to the electronic display screen and push the far left yellow button to deactivate the alarm. Next, turn the valve on the gun to the off position and dispense the material from the gun until it is a homogeneous white. This indicates the catalyst has been purged out of the static mixer. Base and catalyst changeouts follow the same process at their different respective locations. Step 1. Prior to changing the material out, be sure that the catalyst has been purged out of the gun so that the mixed material does not catalyze in the gun. Prior to changing the catalyst bucket, be sure to base purge. If the user will be changing the base material, Tremco recommends using a new static mixer. Step 2. Lift the ram control lever up into a vertical position. Then, press and hold the air blow-off button until the pressure plate rises above the material container. Step 3. Remove the empty base drum or catalyst pail. Step 4. For the base material, open the new 55-gallon drum and remove the plastic sheet covering the base and discard. Fold the plastic drum liner over the drum edges and tape the liner all the way around the drum, carefully securing the plastic liner. Then, center the new drum of material under the pressure plate. This process is basically the same for the catalyst. Remove the lid of the 5-gallon pail and center it under the pressure plate. Step 5. For the base, Remove the bleed stick, which is located on the top of the pressure plate, and clean the bleed stick threads with a clean, dry, lint-free rag. Step six, push the ram control lever into the down position to lower the pressure plate. When the air has been bled out and material can be seen slowly rising in the hole that houses the bleed stick, reinstall the bleed stick. Step seven, Squeeze the gun trigger dispensing material until a homogeneous mix is achieved, and then perform a butterfly test and snap test. If the test results are good, proceed with production. If you have any questions or require additional assistance, please consult Tremco's Structural Glazing Procedures Manual on our website at www.tremcosealants.com. Several steps should be followed when shutting down the machine at the end of the day. Step 1. Turn off all four air supply valves. Step 2. Remove the static mixer from the gun and open the catalyst shutoff valve on the gun. Step 3. Dispense material into a waste receptacle until the pressure gauge on the boom reads zero. Pressure may not reach zero, but should be under 500 PSI. Install the nightcap on the end of the gun. Step four, turn the power off. If you have any questions or require additional assistance, 
please consult Tremco's Structural Glazing Procedures Manual on our website at www.tremcosealants.com or contact your local Tremco sales representative. For contact information, consult the distributor rep locator on our website.